You are here to get some new dinner ideas and I am here to help. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the making. I love a traditional taco soup. Today I'm gonna to be making a creamy chicken taco soup. We're gonna get it in the crock pot. So let's get started. The only chopping I need to do is to chop up this small onion. If you want to make sure that your onion is gonna be super duper soft, you may wanna saute it first. I'm not too worried about that. I'm gonna be putting this on high and I think it'll be fine. And really, I think I'm just gonna use half of this onion. I'm using my smaller crock pot today because this is a smaller recipe. So I'm gonna put my two chicken breasts here in the bottom. Next, I'm gonna add in my half an onion that I chopped. I've got about a cup of frozen corn. A can of black beans that have been drained and rinsed. One can of Rotel. If you want to forego the Rotel and just do regular diced tomatoes for a little less of a kick or spice, that's fine. I'm gonna be putting in two tablespoons of taco seasoning. If you were only using taco seasoning, you may wanna do three. But we're gonna add another level of seasoning. I'm also adding in a tablespoon of ranch dressing powder. That's how I've always traditionally done my taco soups is to add some ranch in there as well. So that's why I'm doing it that way. Lastly, let's just put in two cups of chicken broth. Let's mix this down in there. Okay, let's pop the lid on this and this is gonna go on high for about three to four hours. Later today, we have a secret ingredient going in and I'm having to whisper right now because Steven is in the next room. If you've been here a while, comment below what you think that ingredient is. I would like to take just a minute to thank Thrive Market for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you've been around for a while, you know we've been members of Thrive Market for a couple of years now and we really love it. If you aren't familiar, if you're new to Thrive Market, it is basically an online membership-based grocery store on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. So I don't know about y'all, but I don't have a lot of nicer grocery stores really readily available to me. We live in kind of a rural area, so we don't have a lot of um, organic options in our grocery stores. So Thrive Market has all of that for me. As a Thrive Market member, you're gonna save on high quality organic products because you're cutting out that middleman. You're just ordering it online. It's coming directly to your door in carbon neutral shipping. And you're gonna be saving on every order. If you find a lower price elsewhere, they will match it. So you can be a member for one month or for a whole year. We have chosen the year just because it's billed annually at $59.95, making it about $5 a month. The great thing is if at the end of the year you did not make back your $59.95 in savings, they will credit you the difference. So whether you have new goals in the new year to eat healthier or you have a certain plan or diet that you were following, Thrive Market makes it really easy for you to find all of those products that fit that plan or that lifestyle that you are looking for. So if you are vegan or gluten-free or Whole30, whatever it is, keto, whatever it is that you're following, you can do a search on their website for all the products that would match that particular lifestyle. I love too that they have an app where you can just go in and start adding all of the things that you are wanting to reorder or new things that you're trying to your cart. And then once your cart hits that $49 threshold, all of your orders over $49 are gonna be shipping for free. One of our favorite ways to use Thrive Market is to get really high quality baking goods and pantry staples that we use day in and day out in recipe after recipe. I'm excited to try this soup. It is the Rayo's Italian Wedding with Meatballs soup. I read some really great reviews on this. I really love the Rayo's brand, so we'll see how this goes. Another new Rayo's thing to me is their basil pesto. I'm excited to try that. We really have grown to love pesto over the last couple of years and I've never tried theirs. So whether you are looking for new products to try or some of your favorites at a discount, Thrive Market is the way to do it. So if you just use my link below, it's just thrivemarket.com slash Mandy in the making, you will get 30% off of your first order plus a free gift worth up to $60. And something else that's really great is that for every paid annual membership, they gift a membership to either a low income family first responders, teachers, veterans, they will gift a membership to them as well. So be sure to go check them out. Just go browse their website and see what all you can find. There's so much more than just food on there. I've purchased other things. They have cleaning solutions. They have vitamins. They have meat and seafood, just household products, pet products, 
go check them out. Thank you again to Thrive Market for sponsoring this portion of the video. Let's get back to cooking. Something hit me this afternoon. I feel like I've been hit by a bus, but you know what? I'm so glad that I don't have to come in here and cook dinner. It's already made and soup just sounds wonderful right now because I just, I'm cold. I can't get warm. I don't know what my deal is. So let's take the chicken out. I'm probably going to fog you up, <laughs> but let's shred that. There we go. Okay, we got that all shredded. Let's add that back in. Okay, to get our creamy effect, I'm gonna add in about a half a cup of sour cream. Let's put that in there. This is still on a high. We're just gonna stir that around. Four ounces of cream cheese. And we're gonna let that cook for another 30 minutes or so just to get all incorporated and good and creamy. And then it's gonna be time to eat. Okay, I've got commentator in here with me. Yeah, buddy. He is over here chopping up some avocado. I've got some sliced jalapenos here. We've got a little bit of this Mexican blend cheese left that we can throw on top as well. I thought we had some cilantro. We did have cilantro, but it was starting to go bad, so. Oh, yeah, it was looking a little nasty. It wasn't looking too good. <laughs> I was wondering what was going on there. Well, I'm, I was about to tilt it down and show Oh, you're going to tilt it? I'm going to tilt it. All right. All right. Hang on. You did a fabulous job. Fabulous. You get half and I get half. There you go. Cole's not here, so. Cole's going to have to mess out. Well, he wouldn't have avocado anyway. Bless his heart. <laughs> and do some Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh. You are speaking my language, my love language. Mm hmm I don't know. I got to fix the dribbles here. It's a little too dribbly. A little too dribbly. Okay. Let me show this to y'all. And this, my friends, is dinner. He doesn't know. He's in there taking a picture. I don't know what this is. Well, it's, it's some kind of chicken, Southwest chicken creamy soup. It's creamy chicken taco soup. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. That would make sense. Yep. Very creamy, spicy, Southwest flavors, corn with the beans and all of that. Mm -hmm. Very familiar suspects in the right. Southwest flavor profile. Good. Mmm. 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 Nice touch with the jalapenos. Yeah. Kind of give it a little, mm, yeah. little bite to it, you oh, know? Yeah. And the avocado, and too. The avocado kind of. Oh, my timer's going off. It's time. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> so you approve? I approve. I like this. Very good. Okay. Would you make any changes? Uh, no. I don't think I'd change anything. Okay. So, um, you could also eat the, you could get the, uh, the tortilla scoops. Oh, that would be good. Do you could actually get left? that and eat it with tortillas. Do we have any left? I don't know if we do. We might. You, and corn you could corn. also get some of those corn strips that you get. Yeah. The, and sprinkle mm -hmm. that on top as okay. well. If I had Fritos in there, I might put some Fritos on top of this. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to dig in. I'm so glad you like it. Mm-hmm. I love it. It has cream cheese in it. <laughs> so let, let me tell you. Oh, listen, hear me out. Okay. It calls for eight ounces of cream cheese, like a whole block. I did not do that. Okay. I did four ounces, so a half a block right. of cream cheese. And then I did sour cream mixed in with it. Okay. All right. But look, you didn't know it was in there. Well, you got a point there. And you love it. It is creamy. I like that Good aspect of it. So, so yeah. So you ain't mad at me? I'm not mad, even though you're being sneaky. I was being sneaky. I was so scared you were going to come walking in there like you did that time I was making that lasagna. All right. Well... 
likes it, y'all. Let me see if I do. Wouldn't it be funny if I didn't? <laughs> I'd say he likes it. He's in there getting me some water right now, but y'all, this is so creamy and so delicious. It is hitting the spot since I'm not feeling my best. It really is hitting the spot. I think I'm gonna go get some more. I wish I had more avocado though. Being sneaky. <laughs> At least you fessed up. I did. It is pretty good though, for real. I like it. Very creamy. Uh -huh. Got some spice to it. I like it. It's really good. But I, I definitely think maybe some scoops mm -hmm. or some chips or something with it kind of, you know, right. help it a little bit. Yeah. Be really good. Are all the scoops gone? Did you and Cole destroy those? Don't, no. Don't, you go really? I would never do such a thing. You would never eat all the chips? No. 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 There's a right smart amount in there, too. <laughs> Look, I'm struggling. Doing this one hand is not, not too easy. You need both hands. Ten and two. Uh -huh. Yeah. See, See, I had that. a camera in one hand. I couldn't do that. Mmm. Mmm. I agree. It's really good. Get some of them Tostito scoops. Yep. Or just whatever. You don't really have to have the scoops. You can do the tor any just whatever. tortilla chips or those strips would be great too. Mm. All right, y'all. This is a winner. Even though it has cream cheese in it, we did it. You got anything else to say? I got to say, I love you. And I'm sorry you don't feel good today, but Thanks. we're going to fix it with a little chocolate. <laughs> he said he's going to go get me some chocolate. He knows the way to my heart. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, for our second dinner this week, we are making a pizza, but it's gonna be kind of a deep dish pizza. It's very simple ingredients. You can always change this up however you would like. Let's get started. First of all, we are going to preheat the oven to 425. And I'm gonna chop up our veggies that I am going to cook along with our ground sausage as I brown that up. I am going to add some green pepper just about half of this green pepper should be fine. I've also got half an onion here. I'm just going to slice that up or dice it up. And lastly, I've got some cherry tomatoes here. You don't have to do this, but I, I wanted to have a little chunk of tomato in my tomato sauce. So I'm just going to just dice these up and add them to our tomato sauce that we are gonna put in the pizza. So I'm gonna keep them separate from my um, pepper and onion. Okay, our next step is to start browning our sausage. I've got this large skillet heated to medium high or it's heating up to medium high now. I have one pound of sweet Italian ground sausage. You could definitely use ground beef if you would prefer or just leave out the meat altogether. It's up to you. Going in with our sausage is going to be our bell pepper and our onion. Okay, so this large 9 by 13 dish, I'm just going to spray it with a little bit of olive oil spray. And I have since learned since the Stromboli incident that this pizza crust is the kind I need to work with. So I have just this can of pizza crust. We're gonna unroll it and just try and kind of put it along the bottom and bring it up the sides a little bit of this dish. Okay, so it wants to keep sliding back down. So I'll have to kind of work with it once I start to get my ingredients inside of here, I think. I mean, it's going, it's going up, it's gonna be fine, but because it's got the nonstick spray, it's kind of slipping and sliding, but we'll just kind of kind of work with this as we're adding our ingredients in here in just a minute. Okay, this is done browning, but we definitely need to drain it. So I'm gonna do that now, get all this extra grease out, and then I'll return it back to the skillet and we'll add some more stuff. Ma'am, say I am fully aware, mom, that you have cheese up there. Yeah, tell everybody. I know there's cheese. Oh. Okay, now that we have drained our sausage and onions and all of that, let's add it back in. I have turned off my skillet. I don't need it on anymore. Now we're gonna add in some tomato sauce. I have a 15 ounce can here. If you can find chunky tomato sauce, you could even use a marinara, about 15 ounces of marinara if you wanted to. Or if you had some tomato sauce that has Italian herbs already in it, that would be great. But since mine doesn't, I am gonna use my Italian herb grinder and just add a little extra in there. We've already got some there from the 
uh, sausage, so I don't have to worry about it too much. But, And lastly, I'm going to add in those pieces of tomato, just to add that good tomato chunk to the sauce. And let's just combine all of this together before it goes into the pizza crust. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and add my mini pepperoni in here too. You could definitely use regular size pepperoni, but I really like these mini pepperoni when you're working with something like this. Okay, now we're talking. Let's go over to the pizza crust and we're gonna just start adding all of this mixture in. This already smells divine. And then you know, of course, we've got to put some cheese on top. So I've got some mozzarella cheese. Let's just sprinkle that all over. Okay, this goes in the oven at 425. We're gonna check it around 12 minutes just to see how it's doing. It should be close by then. I find it very satisfying to race against the clock. So I had 12 minutes. It ended up taking about 13 minutes until it was ready, but I was able to clean the dishes and clean the kitchen so that we can enjoy this and I don't have too much to do afterwards. But this looks and smells divine. I have already dug in and this is really good. It looks good. That is really good. That, that's Italian sausage? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lots of flavor in that. Tons of flavor. It's got like this deep dish it feel is. to it, right? That's exactly what this is, is a deep mm. dish pizza. Mm-hmm. Very, very tasty. The dough is perfectly done. Oh, yeah. It's not doughy at all. It, it finished completely. You can see it kind of browned around the edges. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's really good. That marinara sauce. That's tremendous. Awesome. All the veggies cooked in there mm -hmm. and everything. It's nice. Very, very it's like good. A, it's like a pizza pie. Pizza pie. So y'all need to make this one. Make it your own. Do whatever you want to do as far as the inside goes. But this, I just love how the crust did. For little this. pepperonis too. Those little yeah. mini pepperonis. Yeah. I like that. I'm telling you. It's, it's like good a, stuff. It's like a meat lovers almost. Yeah, it is. Pepperoni and the, the sausage. sausage. In there. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. All right, y'all. Give this one a try. It is time for our third recipe. We are gonna have Salisbury steaks tonight. I have shared that on my channel a couple of times. One was pretty recently. It's one of our favorites. So we're gonna have that, but our subby supper is a subby side this week. If you are new here, subby supper just means that one of my subscribers has sent in a recipe that their family loves. Today's subby supper comes from Barbara. She lives in a small town in Wyoming. She's been married for over 40 years. She has four kids and 12 grandchildren. And she said that they really don't eat out much, so it's a good thing that she loves to cook. But this is her own version of rice pilaf. So this is Barbara's rice pilaf. It reminds me a lot of my mom's brown rice. There's some similarities, there's some differences, but I'm excited to try this one. It has bacon in it. It's gonna be good. Let's make it. Okay, we're gonna get started by heating up this large skillet here. I'm heating it to about medium high and we need to preheat our oven to 375. I'm gonna grab this bacon and take it over there. You need about six slices of bacon. Barbara said she cooks hers and then crumbles it later. I just went ahead and cut mine up now and we'll just cook it this way. Okay, so now that our bacon is crispy, we are removing it and leaving the bacon grease behind. We are going to be sauteing some veggies in this. So now we're just gonna add in half of a bell pepper and half of an onion that I have already diced. I used my handy dandy dicer for that today. We're gonna throw that into the, jump back too. We're gonna throw that into the mix and just saute these until they're soft. Once these are good and soft, you're just gonna remove them and put them on the same plate and let them just kind of drain with the crumbled bacon. Then we're gonna move over and assemble our rice pilaf. I've got a two quart baking dish. She said one and a half quart is fine. I'm just gonna spray that. Now, she is using 16 ounces of minute rice. This is a 14 ounce package, which is totally fine. We're just gonna go with it. So we're gonna pour that in the bottom here. Let's pour on our veggies and our bacon. This is still hot. I better not touch it with my hands. Next, let's add just a little bit of garlic salt. She said just as much as you prefer. I'm not gonna do a whole lot. Okay, 
And we've got two cans of the beef consomme. So I'm gonna pour both of those cans in. Because the beef consomme already has a good bit of sodium, I'm just gonna go in with just some garlic powder just to get more of that garlic flavor, but without the extra salt. Put it on the edge over here. There we go. And I'm gonna stir that around. And then we're gonna cover this tightly and it's gonna go in our 375 degree oven for about 30 minutes. Like I mentioned, while we've got our rice in the oven, we are making Salisbury steak. My professional flipper is over here, <laughs> also known as the common tater. Right. Yeah, the <laughs> common tater. Y'all, somebody sent us this, and I didn't have a note in there. It came from, I think it was called Zazzle.com. It came from, from somebody awesome. Well, I don't know who did it, but Whoever did this, claim this in the comments if this was you. We flipped out when we got this in the mail. Yes. It was so exciting. This is awesome. We had been talking about this, had we not? Like, yeah. we said, oh, we need to create a shirt. We need to do I something. I needed to be official. Yeah. Look, he's official, y'all. He I'm is the a official commentator. Commentator. <laughs> for Mandy and the Make It. That's so it was perfect. We were so excited to get it. Oh man, I so, love this. Thank this is you. fantastic. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. It's great. I appreciate it. Perfect fit too. Perfect yes, fit. It really is. Oh yes. my goodness. I love it. Okay, at about the halfway point, you want to stir this. So I'm gonna take it out, stir it, and put it back in. That's looking good. It smells good too. Okay, let's put it back on. Okay, commentator. I don't know what to call this rice, but. Delicious. I've already eaten some. Let's Spoiler find out. Right. I haven't had any. So oh my sure. gosh, y'all. The flavor. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Isn't that good? Yeah, that is amazing. So I was Bacon really nervous about it because I thought, oh, that's not enough liquid. But with it being minute rice, now it's very important that you use minute rice. Yeah. There's a lot of beefy flavor. It was funny. We made the Salisbury steak with this too. Yeah. And this is gonna be like bold beefy flavors. Yes. Recipe. Mm. This has got the, the beefy flavor of the rice in there. And then the pork, the mm. the bacon flavor, yeah. the smoky bacon flavor. And then the peppers really give it something different. Yes, it's so good. Like it kind of mixes, you know, mixes it up a little bit. I don't know, it sort of breaks up yeah. the, the the richness of it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I get that. Barbara, yeah. this is delicious. This is a great side dish and mm -hmm. it makes so much. So this would be great to take somewhere. Um, I love that it's it cooks in half the time because it's minute rice. So oh, it doesn't wow. take a, a full hour. I am so surprised at how easy this is. I know. I, I mean, the whole mm. meal was easy. This was super easy. This, all, this only takes like 15, delicious. 20 minutes. I mean, talk about comfort food. Mm. All right, that's enough of you eating. I'm gonna eat. What else? Okay. Gracie, should I go get some more rice? Okay, I'll go get some more. <laughs> Is that a go backer? <laughs> Ma'am. Y'all, this is so, so delicious. Please make this. The rice with this Salisbury steak is perfection. I'm sure this rice would go with just about anything, but it's really good paired with this. Thank you so much, Barbara. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget, if you have not yet checked out Thrive Market, you can go check them out at thrivemarket.com slash Mandy in the making. And with your first order, you're going to save 30% and you're going to get a free gift worth up to $60. See y'all next time. Bye.